Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pager here, once again with another video on The Flash Season 4. So the DC TV shows are all back up and running after the mid-season breaks, with all the shows having pretty solid mid-season premieres for the most part, and no one really returning with a whimper, as you would say. But seeing as we did just have the big mid-season breaks, uh, we are on the home stretch for all of our shows. You know, on our way to the ends of the seasons, and due to that, we will be getting a lot of big moments going down in each respective show. The Flash this season has some really interesting things going on right now, but we are set to get even more things going down in the next month or so, roughly, especially around episodes 14 and 15, which we will be going over in this episode. But do be sure to let me know in the comments section down below your various opinions, theories, or just comments on what you think of the video, as well as being sure to drop a like on the video to show your support, and subscribing to the channel if you are new. And one other quick thing just to you know, mention before we carry on with the rest of the video, um, I am going to shout out a YouTuber in this video called Robo. I will leave his link to his YouTube channel in the description below. He does do similar videos to me, but obviously with a different perspective. Give him a chance, especially with the way that YouTube is going in the moment. It would be nice if some of you went over and had a look at his videos. Tell him I sent you and maybe drop him a subscription if you are, uh, you know, if you want to. But in the last week or so, we did go over the news that John Wesley's ship would be returning to The Flash this season in around episode 15 to reprise his role as Jay Garrick. Now, some people did start a theory up that he could be coming back possibly to play Henry Allen in flashbacks as we do have Barry in prison right now. And of course, as we know from the end of last episode, he is in Henry Allen's old cell. However, that is five episodes from now and I really can't see Barry being in that prison for that long. Just going off the way the show has been structured and set out in the past, we should have Barry out of prison around episode 13. Anyway, with the news that Jay Garrick was coming back to the show, as well as the news that came out of a few days before that as well, with the news that Violet Bean, who plays Jesse Quick, was returning to the Flash set, speedster lovers everywhere were wondering what was going down around this time in this season of The Flash. Were we getting a big speedster episode, a Flash family reunion of sorts? And, well, yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. We didn't have any news on Wally West being in this episode due to the fact that at this point in the season, it does look like Wally will be already on the Wave Rider hanging out with the Legends. And they actually did confirm earlier today from when I'm making this video that, you know, Wally is actually going to Legends of Tomorrow. They officially confirmed it. Press release. Um, Ken and Lonsdale confirmed it. All of that. So, um, yeah, Wally's off to Legends. They just don't know exactly when, you know, what episode he'll be joining and stuff like that. And when, if he will be on Flash before that. So due to that, in this episode of The Flash, episode 15, it does look like Wally will be absent once again. But anyway, the Jay Garrick return news was first revealed by Discussing Film on Twitter. And they have recently, over the past day or so, revealed more juicy information regarding this episode of this season, The Flash, which is entitled Enter Flash Time, or episode 15. Now, Discussing Film is actually reporting that Matt Letcher might be returning to play Earbud Thorn, or the reverse Flash, in The Flash season 4 in episode 15, titled Enter Flash Time. So the first thing that we do have to point out is that they do say he might be returning. They aren't confirming it or anything. However, if he were to return in this episode, it would make 100% sense. And we will go in depth as to why that is in a second. But I do need to point out that Matt Letcher was cast in Narcos season four, like that Netflix show, as a season regular. However, I am not sure when that starts filming. We just know that he was cast in it around the past month, month and a half or so, which did lead a lot of people to speculate that he wouldn't be reprising his role of the reverse Flash at any time in the next year or so of the Flash, or at least this season. But he may have had time to just film this one episode as it is pretty obvious that he loves this role and loves this character. Anyway, back to this episode of Enter Flash Time and how Air by the Thorn, aka the reverse Flash, would fit into it all. It does look like this episode will be a very speedster-based episode as well as possibly a very Speed Force heavy episode. With Jesse, Jay, and possibly Eobard all coming back for this episode, it would make sense that this would be the case. In episode one of this season, we had Barry come out of the Speed Force, muttering random things from the past and the future as well, along with having these different weird symbols written all over these walls and stuff like that. And these symbols, we have also seen Clifford DeVoe, aka The Thinker, writing down at certain points throughout the season, and also having them on his computer at certain stages this season as well. In this week's episode of The Flash, they did go back to surveillance footage from just after Barry escaped as he was going on about not killing anyone and pleading to a judge. And this was months before the court case, it's important to remember that. So this was our first little taste of them going back to like recently, like released uh, Speed Force Barry, that's probably the best way to put it. And we should expect them to come back to those events even more often in this back half of the season. This episode, however, I don't think will be about any sort of things that Barry was saying when he came out of the Speed Force. This episode could be around those symbols he was writing instead. 
we have been terming them or calling them like speed force symbols for the most part of this se- uh, season, or in some cases, some people have been calling it like the speed force language. But what I would love to see this season and specifically in this episode and to flash time is our speedsters figuring this out. If they can, it is one step closer to possibly learning what the hell DeVoe is planning out this season. As I did say before, he has those different symbols all over different pieces of his work. But in regards to Reverse Flash, this would actually be an awesome time to bring him in and not really put him in a villainous role. Yes, he is a villain. We all know that. However, they could place him in this episode as like an expert or at least knowing uh, what Barry was writing down. Maybe that is just me that thinks that would be a cool idea, but let me know if you hate that idea or agree with me in the comments section down below and think it's a pretty sweet one. But in regards to what version of Eobar this is, that is, you know, coming back for this episode, possibly, my choice would be the one that was actually killed by Black Flash at the end of Legends Season 2 and is stuck in the Speed Force. Like, when he was killed there, he would have been trapped in the Speed Force afterwards. We could have Jesse, Barry, and, you know, Jay all, you know, quote-unquote, enter Flash time, you know, get it because it's the episode title, and that's where they come across this Eobar Thorn. And if he has been stuck in there for a while, which he should have been, he might have some like really decent idea on what the hell is going on with all these symbols that Barry has been writing down. Personally, I think that would be a cool plot, but I guess it does rely on whether Matt is actually returning for the role, but we should have that confirmed or at least denied possibly in the next few days as they continue filming for this episode. So I might be able to update everyone later on whenever that's com- you know whenever that news comes around. But thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'll be awesome if you could drop a like on the video to show your support. Let me know in the comment section down below what did you think of this idea? Are you excited? for the possibility of reverse flash returning this season i know a lot of people do want to see him come back so are you excited about this and what do you think this episode could revolve around do you think he's going to be you know helping barry out with like the speed force symbols or the speed force language or do you think he's just going to play a villain role in this one episode which i wouldn't like to see he's too big of a villain just to have him show up for one episode and be the bad guy i would like him to you know fit this role i think it'd be a cool way to incorporate the reverse flash into this episode and this season and as I said before, go check out Robo. We'll leave his link in the description below. It'd be awesome if you go check him out. And if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you later, guys. Goodbye.